Hey, welcome back to Morning Footy. Well, here is a look at the upcoming March friendlies for the U23s. U.S. men's national team taking on Guinea Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. And on Monday, a big game against France, all in preparation for the upcoming Olympics this summer. Joining us now from U23 camp is midfielder Tanner Tesman. Tanner, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. How has this camp been for you and the guys so far? No, thank you for welcoming me in. It's been uh, really good so far. We've been here for four or five days now and been training hard. And, you know, we're getting ready for these uh, upcoming friendly matches for us. And, you know, we're looking forward to trying to build on these camps and then try to make a good, a good showing at the Olympics. Big game coming up against France, which is another pot one team. How is this group looking to use that opportunity to really uh, fine tune things for the Olympics coming up this summer? No, yeah, I mean, it's, at the game, it's going to be a great atmosphere being in France, uh, their home field advantage. Um, going to be a lot of people there. Big, uh, big game for us to learn and grow as a team, how we're going to play, learn how we're going to play with each other, and, and most of all, how we're going to win and how we're going to compete. So we're really looking forward to it, and we're ready for it. Obviously, you're balling out in Italy, right? Venezia is having a great season. You guys are in second place. Potential promotion up to Serie A. How, how hard has that transition been for you? But getting the consistent minutes and getting an opportunity to play a match in and match out, do, how do you think that's improved your game? No, yes, it's, it's been everything just to be confident, uh, have the coach that trusts in me, have the fans that believe in me and, and the teammates as well, just to, to go in every week and know that we're going to put a performance in. And, and we've been playing really well and we've been putting a lot of work in to, to do so. So it's been great for my development. And uh, yeah, just always trying to make the next step. Tanner, mate, um, I know you're a very versatile player. So uh, tell me from, from your lips to us, what is your preferred position and, and why? Where do you see yourself? Well, mate, um, my, uh, <laughs> preferred, uh, my preferred uh, position is really in the midfield at anywhere, really. I think I can play as an eight or a six. Um, at Venezia, I've been playing kind of as a six, but also as an eight, uh, getting in the box sometimes and, you know, kind of that box-to-box -box midfielder, but I feel comfortable anywhere, really, so. Well, I'm glad you say you're a box-to-box -box midfielder, mate, because that's old school, and I think that when you aim for that type of position, you become an all-round, well-rounded midfielder. Is there any players currently in the game now that you watch, that you try and model your game on or that inspire you or take bits from? Yeah, yeah, there's a few. I mean, Declan Rice has been playing really well for Arsenal and also with England. Uh, I think Rodri for, for Man City has been the best player in the Premier League this year. So those are two players for sure that I try to model or watch things on, and, and they've been doing really well. So, Tanner, Brian McBride here. How are you, man? I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Hey, congratulations on everything. Um, my question's yeah, more about you. this partnership you have with Gianluca Busio. You guys have played together now for, for a couple years. And that, you talked about the movement between an eight and a six, and Busio can do that same thing. Is that something that you guys are working on in camp with the U23s? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, we, understand, we understand each other a lot since we play with each other uh, with Venezia. We have a good connection. I mean, it's been three years now, and we have a good connection on and off the field. And we kind of understand uh, where each other's are, where, what our movements are, kind of where we want the ball, and, and and also defensively, what space we cover, what size we take. And so it's been working really well for us in Venezia. And yeah, we continue to take that into the U23s. And, and Marco's doing a good job using us the way he wants. And, and you know, we're just here for the team. So. Tanner, Boos was my guy back in Kansas City. I followed him since he was like 15, 16 years old and made his professional debut. I know that he already speaks some Italian. My curiosity lies in how your Italian has gotten, and does Busio help you out at all with that? I don't know who told you that he speaks Italian, so I don't know. <laughs> he said he speaks a lot there. of Italian because he has like familial roots. Keep it there. I mean, maybe you're speaking to his brother because his brother speaks fluent, but my friend, Gianluca Busio, <laughs> when we were in Italy, I was hoping, you know, he's all, my dad's from Italy, and, and I was banking on, you know, when we go to the grocery store, we go places, he'll be, you know, the one helping me out, and, and uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. So I don't know where your intel is from, but uh, at the moment, we both speak better Italian for sure since we arrived, and we're taking, you know, the classes we speak with the guys, and, and our Italian's gotten much better for sure. So. With a name like Gianluca Busio, you would assume you, would think. you speak Italian. <laughs> wrong information from yeah, Kansas. That's wrong that's information from Kansas. I actually have a you. question about the time you spent in Italy. Have you become more Italian? Have are the waiters not bringing you ketchup when you order spaghetti anymore? Yeah. Like what? You from the I, south, bro? 
Have you gotten a little bit more Italian? How Italian are you? Are you more espresso now than a regular cup of coffee? I see a chain, so. <laughs> No, for sure, I'm more Italian. It's actually incredible. I mean, when I went to Italy, I, I had never drank coffee, and now it's like mandatory espresso after every meal. Um, we, we, you know, at the bar, all the guys go, and pasta every meal, I mean, it's incredible. I really am embracing the culture for sure, but it's the coffee is unbelievable in, in, in Italy, so. Tana, tell me about, um, just go back to what you said about you hanging out with Busio, you know, off the field and stuff. How, um, how do you guys hang out off the field and how does that help your relationship on the field? The conversation we've had earlier here, so you could, you could let us know a bit more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we enjoy golfing. I think that was like the first, uh, the first time we kind of been together off the field. And, you know, when you're golfing, you spend a lot of time together talking about different things. And we had similar interests and, you know, and now being in Venice, a beautiful city, it's really easy just to go in, go shopping, you know, have a little coffee, go to dinner and, and do some things like that. So we enjoy that um, with each other. We kind of have similar, we're just kind of chill, no pressure. Uh, so, yeah, but really golf is where it all started, to be fair. Tanner, quick question about the upcoming Olympics, knowing that um, the team's going to be named soon. Uh, one, has Marco told you when that, that uh, is going to happen? And two, how excited are you about the possibility of having three overage players join you? Yeah, he has not mentioned uh, when the final roster will be, so uh, we'll hopefully be in touch for then and, and we'll be ready for that. Uh, but the, yeah, three overage players will be really interesting for us. Um, I mean, we have a lot of young guys, even though it's a 01 uh, kind of that's the highest age that you could be. We have a lot of younger guys in the in the team. So, yeah, I think we could use uh, three experienced players that can come in and, and help us try to get a gold medal. So we're we're looking forward to that uh, when that comes around. It'll be very interesting to see who it is. Tana, I love the young players with ambition. What would you say or where would you like to see yourself? Let's just say two, three years from now. I mean, yeah, that's that's a tough question. I mean, I, I tend to focus on the day to day, just trying to develop as I can. But I mean, two to three years is is a long way back when I was in Dallas. I could have never imagined where I am today, two to three years. So, I mean, definitely wanted to play in a top five league, uh, being healthy is number one. But just to keep developing, uh, competing at a high level and, and doing the best I can. Uh, that's my answer. Hey, Tanner, you dropped a little nugget earlier when you said you and Gianluca Busio like to play golf. Who's the better golfer between the two of you? I mean, I, I'm definitely the better golfer. No disrespect. John Luca, when we first uh, started playing, was was really bad. And uh, he's gotten much better now. Uh, he used to not be able to use a driver. Now he's he's using the driver. So we're we're a good team. We're a good team when we play a scramble. That's funny. So you're helping him with the Italian, with the golf. Yeah. My gosh, I remember boost. seeing Busio swing a golf club. It was not pretty. <laughs> was it a baseball swing? <laughs> Close to it, for sure. You playing cricket out there? Exactly. So thank you. You can speak for me, yes. Tanner, you, you also used to play football as a kicker, and I, I'm sure it's been a bit of time, but what do you think is the longest field goal that you could kick right now if someone set the ball up for you? Oh, I could for sure hit a 60-yarder. <laughs> You'd be in the league 60? right now? Dang. Do you know what? Why, why uh, was... Yeah, I could definitely hit a 60-yarder. That's crazy. Tana, why we, why, why we stick to that as well? Look at You came through the... FC Dallas Academy. What was your great memories of coming through the academy and what was your thought about, you know, coming through Dallas's academy? Yeah, first of all, that was a crazy picture that was just on the screen. Um, <laughs> but, New prof um, pick. Um, Italian barbers yeah, got no. you looking better, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> uh, no, being in Dallas uh, through the academy was a great experience for me. Uh, there was a lot of players that made the pathway what it was before me, so I got to pay respect to them. Uh, there's a lot of players that signed homegrown and made it to Europe, and I was just trying to follow in their footsteps. And luckily, Dallas gave me the the resources and the people needed the support to to make that come true. So yeah, it was, it was great for me. Who's got the better kettle, you or Busio? Do you know what a kettle is? The thing you heat up water in? No. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what a kettle is in a Cockney rhyme? Show, no, show, show us your wrist, Tanner. 
There you go. Hey. That's a nice kettle there. Kettle's a watch, mate. Give him, give him the no look. <laughs> the no look. That's a nice kettle oh you got. Tanner, we didn't know what That's he was incredible. talking about either. So. No one. No. It's not nothing to do. With I thought he was reading from the script lost. from the Peaky Blinders. It's all good, mate. Good, mate. It's all right, mate. No problem. Keep up the good work, Giza. <laughs> Tanner, great stuff. Tell Buzio hi for us, and uh, best of luck. Thanks for taking the time to join us this morning. Thank you, guys.